starts with obxentertainment.com and obxetv. Today, our special guest is Isabella Pakula. Hey, Isabella, thanks for Hi. being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, you do something that's pretty special here on the Outer Banks, and um, your business is called Party with a Princess. Yes. <laughs> so, how did you get into that or come up with that idea? Well, I've always loved Disney, and I've always loved acting, and I've just wanted something unique. I always like a unique um, things in my life, and if I want something to happen, I try to make it happen as hard as I can, and I just had this idea, and I was like, this sounds crazy, but could I actually make this happen? And so I told my mom, and she was like, that sounds crazy, but maybe that could happen, and so I had, I told the right people at the right time, and things happened, and I ended up getting a job at uh, the OBX Toy Gallery, and I worked there once a week uh, for three to four hours at a time. And I would do uh, shows as Princess Anna, and I just felt like this it was a dream. I had so much fun, and being a different character, I found that character within myself. I was normally a shy person, but when I was Anna, I just became Anna, and I found that I wasn't actually pretending to be a different person, it became part of me. Mm -hmm. And it was an incredible experience, and I just wanted to keep doing it and pursue it. Nice. So how long ago was that about that you did your first uh, about performance? two years ago. Wow, so you've been doing it for quite a while. Yes. And, um, and now, so you do, like, little kids' birthday parties yes. and things like that? Yeah, and uh, now it's gonna, I'm going to be in a parade. And nice. I'm very excited. I do different events, like at Elizabethan Gardens. I did an also performance, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, I just thoroughly enjoy it. It's a dream job. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. So um, when you decided that this is what you wanted to do, then what happened? Did you have to like come up with how'd you get your costume and all of that together? Well, I basically started just looking online, looking on Instagram and people who cosplay getting ideas from them and tips and I bought I uh, got my first cosplay costume went for my birthday and it was Princess Anna and I was so 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 excited and I was and I had my seamstress take it in and re do readjustments and just kind of created it and made made it my own and <laughs> I I don't really even remember exactly how it happened this happened so suddenly they just offered me a job and I was like okay they're trusting me with this I and it all just happened, and then I got offers um, for birthday parties, and I was like, I guess I could do this, and yeah, I just look on Etsy, mm -hmm. and uh, basically recommendations from people, and just a lot of looking at a lot of different things on different websites, getting reviews, and uh, with my seamstress helping me readjust it to how I want it, and it becomes my own. Nice, awesome. So, how many different like princess outfits or, or characters can you do? Well, as of now, I'm doing Anna, Elsa, which are the most popular right now, and yeah. I have Ariel and Rapunzel, and also Anna in her coronation gown. So, I want to get more characters out, but first, um, I just need to work with what I have and get the money t and the resources to get some more costumes. Right, right, because, yeah, I can imagine yeah. those costumes probably get pretty expensive. They get pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you get, you have the wigs and stuff too that yeah, go with it. the wigs. It's definitely difficult finding wigs. That's probably the most difficult part. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. We have some, and we pull them out every Halloween, and then they're all mm -hmm. sticking every which way. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, if, like, what happens if somebody, say, for example, just books you for their little girl's birthday party, like how, what happens? Well, they book a party package, which is now um, $200, and it includes the princess of their choice, and I go to their house, and I give big warm hugs, and I read them a story, an interactive story, which gets the kids involved. I sing uh, three songs, sometimes four, depending on the crowd. Right. And uh, I'll do those kind of spaced between some free time and getting to know the kids. And so I'll, s I'll sing the different songs from the movie, and then I'll have the coronation time where I crown the birthday princess, uh, the birthday princess with a tiara they get to keep. 
Oh, it's nice. a nice tiara, Aww. and so they have their own coronation ceremony, and it, it's really amazing to see their faces. <laughs> I'll bet, I'll bet. Um, so, in I think uh, I'd heard you have like some like backdrops you bring for yes, photos. Yes, I have stuff. a big ice castle that I bring, and then I have a big Sven and Olaf, and it's good for backgrounds for pictures, and it adds something to the party. Nice, nice. So about how long does it take you to get ready for the party? Well, usually I have to just, it's on Sundays most of the time. It happens to land on Sundays. So I just wake up, and it's usually I don't get to sleep in as long as I want to, right. but because <laughs> I have to have at least two hours set aside wow. to get my makeup on, to get the wig adjusted, and to warm up my voice and just do all that stuff. It takes a while, and I give myself plenty of time. Yeah, because you never know what happens with those wigs and costumes. <laughs> right, right, yeah, definitely. And, and being a performer, mm -hmm. people don't understand, but it is a lot of pressure. And it, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, especially uh, when it's little little girls' mm -hmm. birthday and, party. Yeah, it can depend on the location. You just kind of have to conform to where you're performing. Right. And it can be really different each time. Yep, yep. I'm sure none are ever the same. Mm -hmm. So do you have a limit, like, on how many kids are at the party or they're... There's no limit? Not really a limit. Uh, I just try to include all of them, and especially the birthday princess gets the special treatment. Right. But um, I try to include all the ages, whether they're um, even the teenagers. A lot of teenagers will want to take selfies with me. Yeah. And <laughs> it can be fun including them as well. Yeah, definitely. So that's fun for all ages. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So um, as of now, um, what are your plans just to keep growing your yes, party with the princess? To, yeah, I want to keep growing my business and eventually get into things other than birthday parties, like more local events and such, and uh, get some more characters up and basically just see where it takes me. <laughs> nice. So um, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, I know we're going to have something mm -hmm. on our website where they can um, like link to you, but what's the best way for people to find you? Um, if you go to my Facebook page, Party with a Princess, and also we are working on business cards. They have been put off and put off, and we really need to get right. those done. But they should be done very soon. And about how far in advance would you say people should book you? Well, people have booked me a week and a half in advance, uh, sometimes a week. I would prefer, you know, a week or two before... Uh, some people have booked months before, mm -hmm. so I see what I can do and get around their schedules and our schedules and book yeah. a party. So do you pretty much do like one party a day, or, or do you think you could um, do like more than one? I have never done a party back to pack. I've been waiting for that. It's going to be crazy when I have to do that because you have to change the makeup and stuff. Right. But if there's enough time between, I'd be willing to do that. But uh, yeah, I do parties. I often hope to do them more often in the future. Cool. And when um, they book you, do they pick who, which princess you are? Or Yeah, they get to pick out of my repertoire of princesses and pick which one they want. Awesome. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anybody looking to book Party with a Princess, she makes an awesome princess. I know you, you came to our first Halloween parade and... All the little girls were just, you just had a, like a, a mile long line of little girls. Just, yeah. they love you for yeah. sure. So, yeah, it makes me really happy. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, great. Thanks so much. And I hope you have a party packed year. And, uh, and yeah, just let us know if you ever come up with other characters and stuff. Then we'll, uh, we'll definitely give you all the help we can. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, I'm Sue Arts again with obxentertainment.com and obxetv, and we'll see you next time.